quickly, we want to touch upon this decent news regarding a New York City institution in this short time. Brooklyn's Bossa Nova Civic Club has reopened after nine months being closed due to a fire. Imagine how mad that was. And if I'm not mistaken, New York suffered just as much or probably the same level as we did in terms of the crazy and tyrannical flipping COVID restrictions and shit when it comes to um, the entertainment industry, hospitality and all that bad stuff, right? All that nighttime stuff. It suffered really badly a lot of people were kind of struggling a lot of the places closed a lot of the places didn't reopen again people had to move different jobs had people to go and benefits and whatnot it was really horrible and obviously bossa nova civic club is one of the premier clubs out there in terms of dance music and they were going for a bad time anyway and then on top of that they have a fire and then they have to close and kind of repair the whole thing and all the money that's going to be done in terms of rebuilding it and whatnot and you don't know there's no guarantee as i've said here in the uk we have i've said before like you know i've been going out for a long time i've been djing for a long time and i can definitely tell you that it's different out there it's not the same the clubbing space has changed there's not as many people out anymore um it feels like the events just aren't as electric as they once were probably some djs don't travel anymore because of covid they've permanently changed their flipping decision making process i know when i went to see todd turge play somewhere at like an undisclosed location i won't mention he was being re- this is during like the you know maybe the slow the, the end of like the COVID restrictions he was being really finicky and picky about playing out um, and he's really kind of self-conscious and paranoid to the point where he asked the promoter that he was playing for to place a fan directly in front of him um to kind of you know help blow away or whatever and he was in a full mask with gloves on and shit playing so I think a lot of people you know he was maybe brave in his kind of mind to take the flight and come and play even though he's getting paid for it i think other djs have just decided no i'm going to play domestically or somewhere i can maybe travel to on a train or something but no plane so that maybe has affected you know the clubbing space too because people don't get to see the best people in the world because some people don't want to travel you just only see whoever can be bothered to come to your area um so maybe all that stuff is affecting so you're not too sure if you're busting up a civic club when you do reopen after nine months do you even have an audience to cater to is the community still there have they changed their interest have they moved on have they evolved have they grown up whatever you don't know so the fact they've been able to open up to some relative level of success i feel like from what i've seen online from the clips instagram and stuff is pretty sick to see and i'm really happy for them not going to lie Anyway, this article courtesy of DJ Mag explains a bit more. It says Brooklyn's venue, Boston Nova Civic Club, has reopened after nine months of inaction. The venue returned this past weekend with a lineup that included Julian Huxtable, who I saw in Burger and she was fucking sick. Kind of said, went up to say hi to her and it didn't go well. I would say I think she thought I was trying to hit on her or something I don't know it just didn't go well that or maybe no didn't it would, I wouldn't say that let me, let me not put that on her I think I had a different idea of how it would go in my head yeah you know I mean I think that's why I had a different film playing and she was not even watching tv she was just like minding her business i think that basically what happened but i saw her play she's fucking awesome uh beer cat i'm not familiar with oh actually maybe i am maybe beer cat is a person who people were were ripping into on social media at that time back in the day not back in the day during the beginning of the pandemic about some boiler room mix that was terrible i think she complained about someone else playing and people linked to her oh was this you clanging or something like that anyway some person called beer cat i think that might be the person i'm not sure if it isn't i apologize someone called honey dip and someone called devoy devoy is it devoy or devoy 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 i'm not sure you pronounce that person's name but i apologize and continues said the club was forced to close at the start of the year after sustaining damage due to a fire in the building that houses the venue while the fire the building on the third floor did not reach ground floor where the club is situated the venue faced what was described at the time as tremendous amount of damage yeah, i remember seeing the water Ma- mad pipes would burst everywhere speaking to dj mags boss never owner john barkley sounds super normal in it for to own such a a very eclectic and diverse in history kind of diverse uh, diver, uh, ethnically diverse racially diverse club to be just called john barkley anyway i feel surreal he says to have the venue open again he's quote he says we didn't think it was gonna happen the opening night was pandemonium and we had a line down the block sign at 9 p.m so you can clearly see there was an appetite to go out to that nightclub and party and from what i've seen online people talk about i think the, the real evidence or the real kind of sign you've got a great club on your hands is when people say the name. I guess the name is really cool, Boston Nova Civic Club. That kind of helps. But you ha- I hear people say the name more than I hear people say that about the club nights or about who's playing. So clearly it's one of those spots that you can go to just say, you know what, 
I'm deciding to go here on a Friday, Saturday night, it's whatever else, and it's going to be fun. You're just going to take whoever's playing on the night. And I think that's usually a sign of a good club because if you can get people to just to come off the strength of just the name of your club and the vibe you get, and on top of that, you do end up booking good people, smash out the park. It continues. Trailing what club goers can expect from the opening weekend, he added, we are looking forward to doing what we've always been doing from the past decade, offering the citizens of Brooklyn and the globe mind-melting dance music, world music cocktails, and top-notch customer service with a smile and affordable price tag seven nights a week. I love that saying. That's a good kind of um, bio to put in it, in any club. Um, another person called Tigapore, Liche, Safira, um, Julian, how do you spell that? Julie Lenton, I think, physical therapy, who I know, Aku, Aurora Halau, I know, are among the guest DJs who are lined up to play at the venue in the coming weeks. Keep up to date with the kind over there. I'm actually going to click the location on Instagram and see if we can see if somebody uploaded the video there because that's always good because now they have that flipping location search thing um, reenacted back on Instagram. The thing I actually love because it's to give you an opportunity to be a bit of a voyeur and check clubs out before you actually go there to see what the vibe is. So, this is definitely going to be great to see. Um, and see what was saying over there so we can definitely see if um, the vibe is as immaculate as it always is over a place like that so what can we see here we see videos of flyers we see maybe a bit of the inside here with this post on instagram someone posted five days ago you can definitely see that it's back filling up and people are ready to go but so far no one video to show me what it actually was like on a dance floor i'd like to see it if possible come on brother give me something Nothing, no, nothing so far. No one video to show us what the vibe is saying. But so far, what we can see, it looks pretty decent. People look like they're having some semblance of fun in there. I'm not going to lie, but so far, no actual video. But yeah, what's this picture post here? I think this is when the fire actually happened, right? Yeah, in January 19th. Look at that, all covered in shit and damaged. Bloody hell, mate. So a lot of damage to be done and that, especially if it's an old building, there's a tendency for them to say, oh, just knock it down and start again. So it probably wasn't super simple to just keep going. So definitely um, great to see them back on fighting form and hopefully they go from strength to strength from now on in. That's all we want to see. That's all we want to see.